gust of wind in our sails here. Impact. Neutralized. I'm on 200. Impact. That was a high left. Neutralized. I'm having trouble seeing the 200. Yeah, it's a, a lot of it's black. 250. It doesn't look like it's moving much at all. No. Good solid hits though. The, the upper quadrant of the plate there, that's all. That's good because I put it on the 300 meter setting. Alright, 300 yards. Impact. Oh, just off the right edge. Neutralized. Nice. 350. I believe just off the right edge. Impact. Neutralized. That was a pretty drastic looking impact from, from here where I see. Yeah. Well, you get that little little puddle of water right underneath, so anytime anything hits it, boom! <laughs> Alright, we're at 400. Oh, perfect elevation, right edge of the target. Not sure about that. Impact. Neutralized. This thing is pretty deadly so far. Yeah, I mean, okay, so what's interesting, right, is that the range that you've just reached is where we start to see drop off on these smaller, you know, 22 caliber cartridges basically mm -hmm. um, it seems to be consistent though right yeah I mean so far so good let's see how it fares as we push out beyond yeah. beyond that normal drop-off point okay I bumped it to 400 meters okay that should be what about dead hold here right yeah well let's find out all right 400 or 50 or 450 okay it was short Okay, that one was a full target high, perfect windage. Okay, good elevation just off the left side. Same spot just off the left side. Impact. Hmm, I think that one was way right again, but maybe it skipped. I mean, you know the hold, so just yeah, send, yeah. send another. Impact. Nice. Again, this is pretty scary deadly. Yeah, I mean, again, it's your iron sighting 16-inch uh, barrel, right? Yeah. Now, that was a dead-on hold. Bumped it to the left. Yeah. So, I was using the edge of the front sight off as the, off the, the center. As your yeah. point of reference, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. So I'm on 500 meters sight, so I'll hold it low to see how it does. Okay. So instead of holding 400 and trying to cover your target, you're going to hold it 500 below the target. Correct. Hey, how's the uh, muzzle blast? It's not bad. Really? Yeah, it's not bad. I'm on the gong. Okay. It was still high. 
just under it, maybe a quarter of a target low. Uh, on the right half, it would have been a hit, but on the right half. Oh man, I think that might have been an impact. Try again. Yeah, definitely an impact. You want to do one for safety? Yeah, let's get one more just in case. Oh. It's okay. Now, oh. Yep. Hit. Yeah. So I'm guessing that the more that I thought was an impact was probably an impact. So, what do you think? I mean, this beat this beat all of the other iron sight AKs we've got so far in seven six two by three nine. The Niner, the Niner, granted it had a red dot on it, but the Niner actually came in just slightly under by a round or two, but it, we also didn't shoot the Niner and win like this. Right. They used to call it the poison, the poison bullet in Afghanistan. The, the Taliban, when, when, uh, or the Muj, when they were fighting the Russians, they were afraid of the 545s. Yeah. It did all sorts of nasty things like any high velocity light projectile would do to a soft tissue target. Yeah. This is from Chris Bartachi at Small Arms Solutions and he, this is one of his babies. Uh, he wrapped even period correct tourniquets and, and uh, med packs from Afghanistan or I guess this is gauze. What we undoubtedly have shown here is that the age old, like the AK can't reach, it's not designed to be shot accurately. No. Like, you can't hit That's man sized nonsense. targets. It's just all hot garbage. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, these things can reach, these platforms can reach. So, I mean, if, if you are going out to face an opponent with an AK and being told what we were told when I was in the army. Which is, oh, you're fine at this distance? Because AKs can't reach. That is bad intel. Yeah. That is bad intel. Yeah. Clearly. Recalls drastically low. I don't know if you could tell my, my fall on yeah, my fall up sites were fast. Yeah, they were pretty quick. You know, when you talk about the the recoil impulse, um, you know, most of the time when I shoot matches, I shoot them with an AR. Right. It's a very it's a very customized AR. Yeah. Um, but I have shot some some AK or they call them the Kami matches. Right. And uh, I've shot a, a 5.45 AK in them, yeah. and I agree with you completely. The recoil impulse on it is exceptionally low, um, especially in the piston platform like mm -hmm. this. You feel what you feel is the piston. Right. You don't feel an impulse from from the actual recoil. When the when the Soviets first went to the 5.45, Mikhail Kalashnikov actually opposed no going to the 5.45. But um, I mean, the Soviets aren't dumb. Yeah. They also have people seeing what the M16 is doing in yeah. Vietnam. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, you're going with a, a, a much lighter, much faster velocity bullet. The soldier carries less on the load. Yeah. If it's still able to reach this distance in this type of crazy wind. Yeah. And have less recall, faster follow-up shots. I mean, that's something that obviously I, I can speak to in terms of that. Like, if I had to choose which one to be able to put more consecutive shots in rapid succession up close, I do think it's not as drastic of a difference as people make it out to be in terms of what you can and can't do. A lot of it comes down to fundamentals of recoil control, but it is a much lighter recoil impulse with a 5.45. Right, so, so people who, who say 30 cal is the end-all be- it's a good cartridge. It's a good tool for a good situation. However, your mobility—it's the it, it, you're you're limited in the mobility category. Mm -hmm. You've got to consider that a soldier carries this stuff for ninety percent of the time that he or now she is out there. Yeah. A lot of guys who say that either don't have to hump it. Yeah. For a 20 mile wreck anymore, yeah. or have never experienced it. Yeah. I mean, my point is, my point is, it's not that you can't hump 30 cal of a full a full load a 30 cal full rig, mm -hmm. but, but you lose in, you lose the number of rounds you're gonna carry. You lose right? the number of rounds you carry, or if you want to carry the equivalent, you lose the mileage that you could travel. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Anyways, well, well, this was a lot of fun to. This mess was an, a, a very impressive evolution of the Kalashnikov series, and I, I honestly, I, I really like the opportunity of shooting this thing.
I mean, it's up to you. You can run it if you want. Squeeze a few rounds to see how you think. I just... Ugh! Yeah, this is a pillow. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's normally mine. 716, this is Jill Knight 6, 4 Vic, 8 packs, Red Con 1, Green to Green, top copy, over. Jill Knight 6, this is 716, 